Hi guys, this is Clara once again, and I just want to welcome you to my YouTube channel, The Clara Chips Show. Yes, guys, for those who are following my journey, this week I'm talking about my spiritual walk and how I grew spiritually from the time that I began up to this time where I am. So maybe just to say a bit of... Um, uh, a, a leak up on what I discussed with you yesterday. So yesterday I was talking about um, how I went to South Africa and how I went there by faith. So just in case you're watching me for the first time, I went to South Africa by faith and I just wanted you guys to know that when you do something by faith, it works out nicely. And yeah, so today I just want to continue and tell you more about my spiritual journey. So if you are ready, let's get started. Okay, so uh, uh, about maybe four or five years ago, I went to do a course, a teaching course. I'm a teacher by profession. So, uh, so I went to do a teaching course. And um, I remember one of the subjects that uh, I used to take was uh, philosophy. And in philosophy, we learned about uh, the history of how the missionaries came into Africa and they introduced uh, the Bible and also uh, about Jesus Christ. So after I learned about what happened back then in history concerning Christianity, I started questioning a lot of things. And this led me to now try to dig a bit more I started asking questions like, um, before these missionaries came into Africa, my ancestors did not know about Jesus. Then, what were they worshipping? This came into my mind so strong that, that I was a bit confused because all along, as a Christian, I've known that Jesus Christ is my saviour. And then I started thinking, now, my great, 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 great grandmother, father, what were they worshipping? Obviously, there must be something out there that they believed in. Because I believe that God reveals himself to anyone according to how he wants it to be done. So this made me now to try to try now searching and finding out exactly what my ancestors was worshipping some years ago. So I started reading a lot of books, I started asking questions, and this also led me to stop going to church for, for, for some months. So, because um, I was, I think, uh, a bit confused, because I've always known that if you don't believe in Jesus Christ, then you are not going to be saved, then you are going to hell. But this somehow, to me, didn't make sense. So I said, no, what I'm going to do is let me first try to find out things for myself and know exactly what was going on. So what I did, I stopped going to church because I just wanted to be silent. I said, God, you are going to reveal yourself to me because you are the, the great God. So during that time, um, I started to understand that um, God is inside of me because at first I used to think that God was outside of me and I've dis I discovered that it was wrong for me to believe that because God is deep inside of me. If God is inside of me, then he's part of me. I am part of God and he's part of me. I'm part of the universe. So in other words, I am God. Yeah. So I read so many books uh, concerning about different, uh, you know, beliefs. I remember I also uh, uh, asked some Muslims on what they think about God. I also did a bit of uh, Hinduism. I did uh, Buddha, uh, asked about Buddha, Buddha uh, what being a Buddha and what it's all about. I read some books about it, and I started thinking that you know what I think God is just one God, but with a different terminology. Because uh, when I look at how the Christians or just how everyone thinks about, uh, you know, 
uh, God, it's like everyone is saying, no, we are the right religion, we are the right religion. But I think God is the God of all because I have discovered so many things about God which I didn't know before. And right now what I can just say that I am a spiritual, I'm a spiritual person. I can't say that I'm, uh, that Christianity is bad. I can't say that being a Muslim is bad. I can't say that being a Buddha is bad. But all I can say to me right now is that as long as I know that God is inside of me and as long as I do the things that God wants me to do, then I'm spiritual and uh, I, am, uh, I am the creator of my own world. I believe that um, in life we all have got different paths. Therefore, it's very important not to compare yourself to another person because the path that I have, my spiritual path is different from another, another person. So I have learned so many things now. So I just want to encourage each one of you guys out there that if you can be a Christian, you can be a Muslim, you can be whoever, but I think it's nice to, to learn and see what other people are doing, you know. You have to learn and see. You must be open to, to everything so that you know because at the end of it all, God lives in us. Let's not try to, to differ over something that is so simple, you know. Let us not blame each other and say, no, this and this. But I think that we are all um, uh, spiritual beings having a human experience and we all do things according to our purpose in life. You know, being spiritual is a nice good, it's a nice thing to do because um, I believe now that um, for me to be here on planet Earth, it's like me and God agreed before I was born. I agreed that this is what I want to do when I go uh, on planet Earth. I'm going to be a healer. I'm going to, to heal people. So I agreed to this mission. I know now. Before, I didn't know. I know now what I'm supposed to be. I know that I'm supposed to heal somebody out there because this is what I had agreed with God. My soul agreed with God before I came here on earth. Although when we come here on earth, we forget. We forget this is just how God, the universe, plans things. Otherwise, I have learned that God is a wonderful God who wants everything to, who wants everyone to do things according to our mission, according to our purpose. So I don't care if you agree with me or not, but this is what I believe in right now. I believe that this is um, my life now and I need to move with what I came to do. So if you are out there and you are wondering what your purpose in life is, I just want to encourage you that some of the things that have helped me so much is uh, meditation, the yoga of meditation. Just uh, meditate and, uh, look and see, ask God the universe, who is you, who is inside you, and ask him, what is my mission here on planet Earth? Why am I here? What am I supposed to do? And then you are going to see that a lot of things are going to be revealed. And it's so interesting, you guys, because I have learned so many things from other people as well. One of the people that I've learned so much, maybe if I can mention, I can mention Dr. Dyer. He's one of the people that has really motivated me and how he knows, you know, spiritual things. And also Eckhart, uh, Eckhart Tori. I've also learned from him, I've learned from Oprah and what she does and uh, talk about the, uh, the, 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 the spirituality. So I just thought of just also sharing this with you that if you are seeking, you are going to find. Even the Bible says it, seek and you shall find. And then knock and the door will open up to you. Because I believe and I understand that if you ask the universe God for something, it always reveals to you. So if you want to know more about spirituality, if you've got that desire of knowing, I'm telling you my brother, I'm telling you my sister, you're going to know. It's simple. Let's work together to help one another and do what we came here to do because this journey is a very good journey spirituality is very nice 
I understand it, although I'm still learning, but it's, it's a very interesting road for me and I really, really enjoy it. So yes, guys, I think this is all for today. Tomorrow, I'll talk about something else so that you can listen and understand where I'm coming from. So if this resonates with you, I mean, you can easily leave a comment and just tell me what you think about spirituality. And uh, if you are subscribing, for the, if you are watching me for the first time, I just want to tell you that you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Clara Chips Show. And you can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook, where I also make a bit of some videos which are different from uh, the ones that I make on YouTube, guys. So yeah, like I always say, guys, always remember to love yourself because no one else can love you apart from loving yourself. And the self-love is not selfishness, but love must start from within you and it must start from you, guys. I love you and have a lovely day, guys. <laughs>